Let's check up. Let's check up. Pull up a chair for the midweek checkup now. Welcome to the midweek checkup. My name is Lindsay Blair, and I'm joined by Bobby Gillis. This past Sunday, Pastor Jonah Sage preached Hebrews 8 in our series called Divine Desire. Pastor Jonas said that we no longer strive for a way to cross the gap between us and God because God went up on a cross to bridge the gap for us. If you missed the sermon or need help remembering, it's time for the midweek checkup. Jonah began by saying that this text is for you if you have two desires inside of you, the desire for more life and the desire for a way to cross the gap between this life and the more than you're craving. Hebrews 8 verse 1 says, We have a high priest who sat down in the place of honor beside the throne of the majestic God in heaven. Two radical, absolutely revolutionary, entirely unique statements are made here. First, Jesus is in the place of honor beside the throne of God. This is the place of authority. This is where someone would rule as a king. In the Old Testament, there was never an Israelite king who served as a priest. Kings represented God to the people. Priests represented people to God. But now, we have a high priest who is also the king. Second, Jesus sat down. When you imagine the priest of the Old Testament, what do you see? Blood and sacrifices, prayers over altars and incense-filled rooms, such busyness. Why? Because every other religion has told us and continues to tell us, do this and you will live. But Jesus is sitting down. Why? Because Jesus tells us that all religious work is done. Every religion shares four things in common. A temple to worship in priests who oversee worship, a covenant between worshipers and the divine, and the sacrifices that must be made. Jesus satisfied all of that in his life, death, and resurrection. He paid it all. It's over. And this is the promise that God's people have been waiting for since Jeremiah the prophet prophesied, prophesied about a new covenant. We don't have to work to get to him because he got to us first. Now his spirit lives inside of us. He instructs us and leads us. He is a not, he is not a far off king or priest. He is a knowable God. We can know him because he has made himself known. He has wiped our slates clean of sin forever. On this coming Sunday, we'll continue our series called Divine Desire. And in Sunday Bible Fellowship, we'll be discussing Bible passages for the season of Lent together. Join us. Bring a friend.